You guys, I'm 18. I'm an adult now. Still living with my parents. My birthday was June 21st, so you can wish me a happy bir belated birthday or, you know. I'm coming with y'all with Swoozy. GameStop girl be playing games. Some they do, some they don't, you know. These girls are always playing games. But not for the majority of it. Eh. Nah. Let's get to, let's get to it. A lot of guys out here in the gaming community just have a thing for girls who are into video games, like our kryptonite. For any of you ladies who ever huh. jumped into a lobby and said something Peanut on the mic, my and every guy's like, Wah! everything in the game becomes about you, you kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. I go to GameStop mm -hmm. one day, pick out my game, go to the register, cute girl at the register, Wah! but I play it cool. And I just grab my free copy of Game mm -hmm. Informer, take my game, and I'm out. So a few weeks later, new drop, go to GameStop, get to the new register, drop, go to GameStop. the girl goes, you nice. look familiar. Have you seen Avatar? <gasps> yeah? I'm not an Avatar. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen Avengers? Yeah? I'm not an Avengers either, boo. I'm sorry. Do you uh, watch YouTube? Box office. Yeah. Are you Swoozy? So, side there note, you go. these Game Informer magazines, are they free? Because every time I come in here, I grab them. I don't see a barcode I was on about them. To say no, box you gotta, you gotta sign up to get them. Did you sign up? Are you part of our rewards? Nope. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Go home, check my Twitter DMs, GameStop girl messaged me. So we chit chat for a few weeks, and then one night I just hit her up like, yo, you down for some noms or what? She's like, yeah, downs. So we go to BJ's Brewery. Down. So, uh, do you have a girlfriend and you just don't talk about her on your videos? You have a lot of stories about girls. Well, as soon as I Duh. get in a relationship, please believe my stories about girls are gonna start, you know, reducing a lot. I'm not out here chasing girls. I'm too busy out here trying to get that paper, the bread, no, the I'm cheddar, saying... the money, the guac. Lo siento, not lo siento. What about you? You got a man or not? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. How long y'all been dating? Well, we're married actually. <laughs> you see going on dates with random boys from the internet and you're married? You seem kind of young to be married. What? Yeah, we kind of rushed into it. We got married yeah, when we were like 19. they're like YouTuber. Females hey, who married I in their twenties, early twenties. He loves your videos. We like binge watch your videos together. Does he know you're out with me right now? No, he's out of town. And now, do y'all find that weird? Because I find that kind of weird that sh you know, if my girl was out with some dude she met on the internet and didn't tell me, I might feel some type of way about that. And I'm not crazy, right? So just to cut any kind of situation from forming, I say, listen, next time we hang out, how about I meet him? So fast forward two weeks, I go to her apartment, I meet her husband, super cool dude. We play Smash Brothers, we play Mario Party, we play That's Mario Kart. Up. I'm not out here trying to brag or nothing, but up. you know, can't nobody touch me. So I beat them all. I went undefeated the Bro, whole night. I put I'm both of them in a the box. Switch control. But, you know, it's not important to the story. Anyways, we go to BJ's Brewery. So I know BJ, step your game up because the food quality lately has been Slacking. I thought she was gonna bring her husband. She didn't. It was just her. So first thing I ask when we sit down, mm -hmm. where's Sawyer? He's out of town. Cool. Um. Cool. Yo, is this dude a Russian spy? Why he always out of town? <laughs> yeah, my husband doesn't really trust me. Why not? I cheated on him. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Uh. <laughs> You do it? You, you, you do it? Yeah. Me and my coworker, we just got to know each other really well. And then one day after, uh, you know, he walked me to my car and I just cheated on him. Did he ever find out? Yeah, I told him. Oh, okay. That was the first time I cheated on him. Wait, okay, you cheated on him more than once? Yeah, the second time. You know, I was just, was an, they hired a new guy at work and then I just... We started talking and I got to know him. These girls ain't loyal. Did you find out about that dude? Yeah, Tell me about I told him about that one. But then I, so, and then I cheated on him again. It's just these new hires. I just can't stop. You've cheated on your husband three times and he hasn't divorced you? Well, he thinks that if he divorces me that I'm gonna go out here and just hook up with a bunch of dudes. Uh, 
what does he think you're doing now? Are these dudes not scared your husband's going to show up at work one day and mess them all up? I don't know. So I take her back to her apartment. We're there. We're talking. It's like 6 in the morning now. Sun starts coming up. Let me go. I'm out. Go to the door. She follows me. I turn around and I go to hug her goodbye. I can't tell you guys what happened next, but let's just say here's a line and she crossed it. Like she literally took a flying leap over the line. So I'm driving home now after this just went down, but I feel like what just happened was not okay. So I get home, I text her, probably best if we just don't talk for a little while. We can hang out, but when we do That's hang good. out, it's probably That's best good. to meet you and your husband or all hanging out in a group setting. Okay, lots of people around, lots of eyewitnesses. Maybe we can all go to church. Then one day I get a text. Yeah, okay. Hey Adonde, this is Sawyer, Kim's husband. I went through her phone while she was in the shower and got your number. Wanted to reach out and invite you to her surprise birthday party that I'm throwing. Don't tell her. So I'm just gonna assume that he didn't read our last text and just went to her contacts and got my number. Cause if he read the last text, he would have probably had some questions. So I'm like, I LMK. One night I'm home, I get this text, I look at my phone and it's Kim. We haven't talked in like months. She sends me this text of her in the bathtub, just like her legs sticking up out the bubble bath. Yo, don't send me stuff like this. Why not? <laughs> Figured she was alone, so I called her. Now I can't tell her, hey, your husband's going through your phone. Because her next question is, how do you know? I'm in a situation where I can't let her know. So I call her up and I'm just like, hey, it's just not gonna be a good look if your husband ever sees you sending other dudes pictures like that. He'll never see, he doesn't even know my password. Let's just pretend he does. Do me a favor and delete our previous text, okay? Her yeah. birthday comes, That's what I we do. all go to Dave and Buster's, I spank him some more, I'm a beast, I'm out here ending people's careers, really can't nobody beat Dave me. One somebody. day at the Blue Random, I get a text from Kim's husband. Uh, can you just do me a favor and just stay away from my wife? He didn't sound mad. So I don't know if Kim ever deleted the old text that I told her to delete. I just hit him back. Listen, bro, I understand. You don't gotta explain. It's cool. I don't know if Kim has told you about our situation, but yeah, it's just she has patterns. Blah de blah de blee. I'm traveling a lot the next few weeks, so I'm not even gonna be in town, bro. You good. I'm too busy out here trying to get the paper. The bread, the cheddar, the money. Lo siento, not lo siento. Mm -hmm. If you follow me, you know when I travel, I put stuff on my story. So Kim saw that I was getting ready to fly back into town. I see you're coming back. I haven't seen you in like forever. Can I pick you up from the airport? Seems harmless. It's been like months. Okay. She picked me up from the airport. As she's driving me to my house, I get this text from her husband. Yo, bro, what part of stealing my wife didn't you understand? Keeping my distance. <laughs> She just gave me a ride, that was it. I'm assuming she was gonna tell you that she's coming to pick me up. So it's not like she was thinking around behind your back, whatever the case, he still was not happy. As Soon as I finished texting him back, Kim goes, so I'm gonna divorce my husband. <laughs> not Honestly, surprised. <laughs> so searching and I think that's why I've been cheating on him so much because I'm trying to get him to divorce me, but he won't. First of all, he's a slob, okay? I don't know if you've ever like had a roommate who is like a slob or anything. He is the worst. He comes home, he takes off his pants and his underwear, and he throws them right in the middle of the living room, and they stay there for days. I'm not your maid, okay? The sink, forks, knives, dishes, everything he touches just the house is a mess. I clean it and the next day it's a mess again. Oh, I can't stand that. Say, and when I get know. to the point where I can't take it anymore, I tell him, I think we need to start talking about going our separate ways. And then he gets all apologetic and then he worships the floor I walk on. And then he's super neat and super clean. And then as soon as he gets comfortable, <laughs> The cycle starts all over again. Mm. And I think I just got tired of this cycle constantly repeating. So as a way out, I think I just started cheating on him. So that way he would just let me go. And then he wouldn't. This is his last chance. I'm going to tell him we need a divorce. He's going to stop being a slob. The next time I see his underwear on the floor, that's it. She went back home and she did exactly what she said she was going to do. She told him, I want a divorce. He says, no baby, I'll change. Give me another chance. She gave him that other chance. 
and literally she just like had the hammer in the air waiting to drop it and after a while he went back to being a slob boom she dropped the hammer and finalized it they broke up Dang. so then he packed up of all course. his stuff and moved after that she just fell off the grid she stopped using social media every now and then she would go live on twitch she stopped getting on twitch she disappeared for like a year and a half and what then the resurfaced on instagram with a picture of her engagement ring she found some new dude boom and she seems very happy with this dude the end p.s GameStop. i got like 35 game informer magazines here i don't know I which say, what like, should i send these back can i keep them I'm not trying to end up in handcuffs here. I've been moisturizing. I've been exfoliating. I'm too pretty for jail now. I can't go back. Maybe tweet me. Let me know what y'all want to do, how y'all want to handle this, and we can go from there. There y'all have it. That's our generation of women, you know? Yep, that's it. See y'all later.